Mike Schmitz here with Luka Samanich. Uh, we're here in Estonia at the under-18s, Division B. Uh, just finished up your first game here. Uh, one of the younger guys on this team, what is your role on this team? Uh, well, my role on this team is to play defense, to grab rebounds, of course to play offense if I'm able to, and to, you know, to cheer the guys, and that's it. When was your first national team experience, and what do you kind of remember from then? Uh, my, my first national experience was in uh, Slovenia Bowl under 14. Uh, I think we were second, we finished second and that's it, nothing, nothing else. What can you tell us uh, about your background, you know, how long you've been playing basketball, where you grew up, some things like that? Um, I'm from Zagreb, Croatia. Uh, I, I started to play basketball when I was, uh, I think, 11, 12, something like this. My first club was Zagreb and then I moved to Barcelona. I'm right now there. I'm player of FC Barcelona and uh, that's it. My father was a basketball player and that's it. Where, how many different places did he play and, and what was it like kind of growing up around that? Honestly, I don't know. It was a lot of places, but I think uh, Germany, uh, Poland maybe, Croatia of course, uh, Belgium, something, I don't know. I, I think the, a lot of clubs. So you were doing break dancing uh, prior to prior to basketball? Uh, yeah, but it was just three months. Just a few months. Yeah, nothing special. Um, were you were you good? Of course. No, yeah, I mean, I I start when I was like eight, and I, I do like three months, and I was not bad, but I don't know. No, yeah. Uh, what was this last year like for you in Barcelona? Um, Barcelona is a great club, it's a big club, but it was tough for me because, you know, new, new home, you go from family, and, uh, but you know, it was, we, we worked really hard, we finished like third in Spanish championship, it was really good experience, seven days, seven days, and uh, after we had uh, this uh, Adidas Next Generation tournament in Istanbul, and we finished fifth, it's not, you know, great success, but it's first year, so I, I hope next year will be better. You had a really strong showing in Radom last year at the under 16s. Um, you know, how have you changed as a player since then? Um, first of all, I did a lot of you know weights because uh, I was I'm I'm skinny still now. Um, I worked a lot on my shot, on my uh, post game, and of course face to the basket because look, I'm almost seven foot. I, I need to know to handle, and that's it. Yeah, I mean, it seems like you've even grown a little bit. Uh, you're easily the tallest guy on the team here. Do you know how tall you are now? Uh, I think I'm 6'11 right now and around 210, 2 meters and 10. And have you been following, you know, the NBA at all, the American game? And, you know, how do you think you kind of fit into, you know, the way the game has changed? Uh, well, I'm, I can play 3, 4, 5. For example, if I'm on position 5, I can run, run the floor in pick and roll I can switch I can guard I think maybe not in NBA but from one to five and I think you know I can I can give it to the team on both ends on the floor is there anyone any you know Croatian basketball is obviously very big a lot of guys in the league anyone who either you look up to or has maybe helped you you know through the process well my of course is Russian Petrovic he's the biggest basketball player in Croatia but I like Tony Kukoc, the, his way of playing, you know, he was tall, but he played from outside, he can pass the ball. But, you know, my biggest, like, help is my father. He helped me a lot, you know, because of this adaptation in, in Barcelona, and, but that's it, Kukoc. So he's, a, he's the GM of a team still? Which club again? Uh, basketball called Kvarner. In Rijeka. In Rijeka. And what are the next few years going to be like for you? Um, what are the plans? What is the goal? Well, uh, hopefully I will be good, in, you know, improve enough to play in, in first team of Barcelona. That's why I'm there. And from there I hope, you know, NBA is the goal. But I don't know, still I'm 17, I don't know, but I hope. And what are some of the areas you're still trying to improve? Uh, well, uh, obviously it's my body. I mean, uh, I need to, you know, to get some kilos. And uh, at also, you know, every part of the game I have to improve if I want to play next level. It's uh, shot, dribble, everything. What about off the floor? Any, uh, how would you describe yourself? Um, well, I hang out with my friends. I, I don't know, I play a lot of sports, you know, just uh, like uh, how, um, just, you know, for fun. And that's it, music, that's it. 
Did you play any other sports growing up? Yes, I, I play a lot of sports. I play handball. I play fo oh, football. I played like five years football, and I was pretty good. But I was the you know the biggest guy, but I could run. And then my father told me try basketball, and I I like it. And do you? Th I think one of your biggest advantages is your agility and your ability to move at your size. Do you think playing football kind of helped with that? Yeah, of course, because you know you have to run. It's big court. It's much bigger than basketball court, and you have to run. These guys are small, you know, edge, and you have to run. And I think helped a lot. Great. Well, thank you so much.